r and Connor Inc. is a unique helicopter logging company because we specialize in dead standing timber. Although there are many different methods of harvesting dead standing timber, we at r and Connor feel that uh, using the helicopter has the least amount of impact to the residual timber and the soils on the ground. Because everything is being airlifted out of the forest and taken to a landing or a road that already exists. The way helicopter logging works is it's, it's really simple actually compared to most methods of logging. We actually find a dead stand of timber or identify it and uh, we'll send a forester in and he'll go ahead and mark the dead trees that will be taken out of, of this timber stand and leave all the green trees and the healthy trees and try to, try to mimic what mother nature does naturally through fire historically. Then we send timber fallers in. The timber fallers go in and they fall the tree, they buck the limbs off of it and they cut it to length for the helicopter. And after that we send guys in on the ground that are called hookers. Hookers are the guys that actually hook the logs to the long line on the helicopter. So the hookers will make turns which are several logs or one log, just depends on the size of the tree, up to 4,000 pounds. So then hook them to the helicopter and send this turn to the log landing where the chaser, we call it a chaser, there's a guy on the landing that takes the chokers off the logs and coils them and gets them ready to be taken back out to the hookers. And that process goes on and on and on and on. The logs come in, the, the, the chokers get taken off and get sent back out. Well, meanwhile, we have a log loader on the landing. So when the logs come in, the log loader picks up the logs and he pulls them through a delimmer that actually finishes bucking the limbs that are left on the log and cleaning them up and getting them ready for, to put them on a log truck. Once he puts them on the log truck, they get hauled to R&R Connor's sort yard at Connor, Montana, where they are then merchandised and bucked to specific sizes, lengths, and grades depending on the market for that specific log. To me, heli logging is the most fun you can have with your clothes on. It's like a big video game. I've got my joystick, I'm getting my hook moving as fast as I can and, and going to my little orange men and trying to deliver them the hook. And uh, we're just having fun all day long. We've got a group of guys out in the woods we call choker setters. And these men, they choke the choker onto the, uh, the log and then I'll come in with a helicopter on a 180 foot long line delivering the hook to the men on the ground. They'll go ahead and hook me up to these logs and they're clear. I'll pull away, take the logs up through the canopy so it doesn't disturb anything on the ground. And fly it to the landing. Our turn times for each one of these intervals can be 90 seconds. And so you can deliver 600 logs a day to the landing using this method. Our turn times of 90 seconds means in an hour's time in a helicopter, you're doing anywhere from 27 to 35 turns per hour. It's a high production, really demanding job in that the guys have to be alert, they've got to be focused, they've got to know what their job is and perform it to the ultimate. Hi, this is uh Great heli logging out here. The adrenaline goes as chopper starts in the morning and you're cranked up, ready to go, ready to work. It's a beautiful day. We've got a job out here to do. And uh, hopefully we can do it as best as we can. Uh, the reason we heli, heli log this is uh, there's ground in here that can be accessible to uh, other types of machines and it's more uh, environmentally sound to do it. It leaves the forest cleaner and uh, hey, come back. especially as uh, beetle, killed, beetle killed stuff is for eradicate right. the disease and where we can and uh, have fun doing it. It's good stuff. It's in my blood. <laughs> I love it. Good hard work. Wonderful people, you sleep good every night. You might hurt a little bit, but you sleep good.
Get money. You just gotta love it. It's just intense. I mean, it's high adrenaline. For an hour and 40 minutes, it's high adrenaline. Then you get a 10 minute break when they fuel up. And you can actually gather yourself back up and get ready for the next cycle. The most exciting part about working with Ryan and R&R &R Connor is just his passion for making a difference. He truly loves the woods. He's a true environmentalist by all terms of the word. Uh, he is very alive when he goes out into the woods and he's just and he cares deeply about it. R and R Connor started with Ryan's dream to make a difference. Um, he started off as a young kid that um, didn't like working for other folks but grew up in the woods and had a passion for it. He uh, um, truly has spearheaded a whole new way that the industry goes. And so um, some of the things that we're working on today are exciting to both of us as well as our crew and the people around us because this is our opportunity to make a difference. Um, in the fires of 2000, there was 300,000 acres of timber burned right here in our backyard. And we have to look at it every day. And being in the aviation world, we fly a lot of it and get off the beaten path and see so much more than everybody else sees. And so uh, not only are we looking at from a, a beauty perspective of our backyard and the national forests and the range that our animals live in and um, people make their livings, but we're also looking at it from our perspective as a timber harvesting company, looking at just millions and millions of board feet of timber that's being wasted. And um, that, that's just such a waste and that there's so much that can be done out there to clean it up. And um, for future fires, as well as merchandising that timber into a resource that everybody can put into their homes and uh, all the other resources that timber products go into.